This is a fancy restaurant. At the French Laundry, dinners can cost $800. It's so luxurious that the late Anthony Bourdain said, This is like driving a Rolls Royce naked in mink underpants. <laughs> but because of COVID, we shouldn't eat here. It's in California where the governor says, It's absolutely essential avoiding mixing with people that are outside of your households. Okay, we won't go. But wait, look at this picture. Governor Gavin Newsom dining at the luxurious French laundry restaurant. No masks anywhere and multiple households against his own rules. Now, you might have heard about Newsom's hypocrisy, but it was worse than we thought. Politicians' priorities will always be put first. Jared Stepman of The Daily Signal reports on politicians' hypocrisy. It was a friend's birthday party. He had some obligation to go to that. This is not just simply a friend. This is a powerful lobbyist who's there to get exemptions for powerful people in the state of California. The governor's friend is a fixer who gets his clients exemptions from lockdowns. Clients like Hollywood firms so they can keep working while others can't. I'm losing everything. Everything I own is being taken away from me. This woman had remodeled her restaurant for COVID. All the work I did for outdoor dining, for tables being seven feet apart. Her kind of dining was suddenly forbidden, but not for the politically connected. They set up a movie company right next to my outdoor patio. They're allowed to have outdoor dining right next to her restaurant. Tell me that this is dangerous. But right next to me, as a slap in my face, that's safe. She doesn't have a powerful team of lobbyists who can argue on her behalf in the state's capital. California has lots of hypocritical politicians. You heard about Nancy Pelosi. Surveillance video shows her at a hair salon, getting a blowout and not wearing a face mask. In Mississippi, Governor Tate Reeves held three Christmas parties. Seems to fly in the face of guidance from his own health advisors. How is that not in conflict with the order? It allows us to really send a message to, to the people of Mississippi that you can return to a life that has is somewhat normal. Normal for politicians. Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo maskless at a wine bar Friday night. This just days after sending a tweet telling people to quote, stay home except for essential activities. There is this this feeling, Governor, that you are constantly lecturing people about the rules. Some people look at that picture and think it's, it's hypocritical. That night, we were absolutely following the rules. I was with my household, wearing a mask. Washington, D.C.'s mayor demanded a 14-day quarantine for anyone going to states like Delaware for non-essential activity. But then she went to Delaware to celebrate Joe Biden. Her excuse? I do a lot of things to advance the interests of the District of Columbia. And some of them are formal and some of them are informal, but all of them are necessary. If politicians do it, it's always necessary. President Biden declared that masks must be worn on all federal property. And then he and his family almost immediately broke his own rule at the Lincoln Memorial. Donald Trump was a hypocrite, too. When needed, I wear masks. He agreed to presidential debate rules requiring everyone to wear masks before the debate began. But he and his family didn't. And as it turned out, he had COVID then. I think this was a blessing from God that I caught it. At least Trump didn't dance in Times Square. Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York City, dancing in an almost empty Times Square after telling New Yorkers not to come here on New Year's Eve. It was like something out of the Hunger Games. The presidential palace, the party of the year. In Chicago, when salons were closed, the mayor got a haircut. A photo that surfaced on social media showing the mayor after getting a trim has some asking, what about me? I take my personal hygiene very seriously. As I said, I felt like I needed to um, have a haircut. She was a double hypocrite, really. She was seen attending election day parties and giant street festivals, not wearing a mask. She said, well, you know, the people simply deserve a night of fun. What about all the other people? What about their ideas of fun? Politicians' hypocrisy is everywhere. The Heritage Foundation tracks it. They give at least 50 examples. Politicians have one set of standards to follow, and we have another. And it's up to us to say, you're either going to follow those rules, you're going to change those rules, or we're going to throw you out. 
While you're throwing them out, please help us make more videos. Click that button. Thank <laughs> you.